All right, welcome back to Good Day Columbia. It's that time every Friday. Of course, we're here with Brandon Davis. He's going to give us a scoop on what movies you should see. And this morning, we're talking about Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Brandon, you saw the movie. Yeah. What do you think? I thought it was really good. I was good. surprised. It wasn't what I expected. Really? You know, I mean, I had high expectations for it, okay. but it was just different from what I expected. Ah, I see what that's you mean. That's what I meant to say. So this is kind of like picked back up from the 2011 one, and there was like a, a virus that was leaked out, and so the apes are kind of leaked, genetically yes, modified. Yes, at, at the end of the okay. first one, Rise of the Planet, or, yeah, Rise, Rise, the, Rise of the Planet mm -hmm. of the Apes, uh, the simian virus was unleashed on pretty much the whole world, so now this one, uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, picks up mm -hmm. 10 years later, and the human race is just about extinct. There's so few humans left in the world, and apes are smart, they're developing their own world, right. their, their civil, almost their own civilization. We had some footage to show that actually, because actually when I was watching the um, footage, it it's appeared like they were humans, the apes were like human beings. Yeah, that's that's what really, I think, is what why I enjoy this movie so much, because you know when I go to the movie, what I'm looking for is character development, a reason to care for the characters and root for the characters, right. and in this movie you get character development not only on the human side, and you know obviously in every movie you're going to be rooting for the yeah. humans in, in an apocalyptic <laughs> setting, but you get so much character development by, in the ape side of it. And right. it's re it really was amazing the way they pulled you into the ape's world. And it was like you were rooting for humankind to fail almost because the apes Gee. were struggling with this battle with humans. And it was just the way they developed the apes was, it, it was unlike any other movie wow. really. I, I, I loved it. Wow, so do you think the graphics were well? Oh, the, yeah. Came together so you could actually feel like you were absolutely, in there. Absolutely, absolutely. There was times like, um, the apes kind of carry one of the actors, Jason Clark, and then they grab him by his raincoat, and you see his raincoat actually move, like with the hand. Oh, and it's wow. just that little things like that, little details mm -hmm. that you don't even realize that you might even take for granted. But as I'm there, you know, being critical, I notice these things, and it's just, it's really, they go above and beyond with the special effects. Well, so do you think there might be another? To this movie, or to well, this. Well, I don't want to give anything away. Okay. But it does seem like there, there's room a for a third one. There's, the, it could oh. end here, I think, but it okay. does also leave room for a third one awesome. to a nice trilogy type deal for the whole Planet of the Apes saga here. Let's see what you mean. Your rating for it. My rating, I'm going to give it a not, an even 9 out of 10. Whoa! I, I, I really did like the way they developed <laughs> the ape side of the story. And they, they even, like, I guess after seeing the movie, I don't want to okay. say they gave them a human side, but that's what it felt like. It gave, ah. they had human emotions and really like deep character development that, that really made the movie. And Andy Serkis, the guy who voices and did like the computer acting for, yeah. for Caesar, he was amazing. And that's, he doesn't, you never see his face, but he's a top build uh, so cast you know, okay. member. So mm -hmm. and he re he's the voice of Schmeagel from the Lord of the Rings. Th that's he, it. Ex and, yeah. and he was in the Hobbit as well. Yeah, yeah, okay. in the Hobbit. And he voices Caesar, the main character, the main ape, Check the leader out. of the ape world. And he, he he was amazing. Now the reason why I'm surprised because Brennan Brennan does not give nines easy. <laughs> I mean, it had to take X Men yeah, this for that is like one. The third so, one in, right. in like four months. Yeah, like, that, that was okay. really good. Go go check this one out, people. It's only PG thirteen. Okay, there so are family? some really intense situations that okay. for young kids might be hard to handle, but it's not so violent. It's not not anything that bad. If you've seen the trailer, you've seen most of the violence or anything like that. It's just some intense situations that might have you on the edge of your seat. But I think most families and kids can handle it. All right, Brandon Davis, thank you so much for that. Brandon, folks, make sure you head on out to the theater. And there's some other movies to see if you don't want to see John the Planet of the Apes. Make sure you check some other things out. We talked about Tammy last week. Tammy, yeah, yeah. Transformers still Tra out there. I know exactly. Friendly loves yes. Transformers. Optimus Prime, folks. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, stay with us. There's more good day coming up right after this.